Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are doing very well. So, welcome to the science class. I am a digital science mentor and today I will be teaching you chapter number 11 of your science book that is Rock and Minerals. And let's see the chapter at a glance. Rocks and Minerals. So, here you can see the engage which you have to do. Okay, so we will start with our topic that is rocks. So, our earth is made up of soil and rocks. Do you know what are rocks made up of? Rocks are made up of substances called minerals. Each rock contains different minerals. Different minerals mixed together in different quantities to form rocks. Three types of rocks are found on the earth. They have been classified on the basis of their process of formation. These are igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. So now we will see igneous rocks. Igneous is a Latin word which means a heat or fire. Under the earth's crust lies a melted rock called magma. This magma exists in modern state due to the extreme temperatures between 600 degrees Celsius and 1200 degrees Celsius existing under the earth's crust. Igneous rocks are formed when magma cools. Sometimes the magma cools inside the earth. In some cases, it erupts on the surface from the volcanoes. In this case, it is called lava. When the magma from under the earth's crust, that is lava, comes out during volcanic eruption, some of it gets spread over the earth's surface Slowly and gradually it cools down and forms rock. Granite, obsidian, basalt and pumice are the example of igneous rocks. So, igneous rocks are of many types. Some of important types are described here. You can see that. Now, in which you can see that the column 1 which is the name of the igneous rock. Column 2 properties and column 3 is uses. So, we will see one by one. First, that is a granite. It is a very hard. It comes in different colors like white, red, pale, green and blue. If you will talk about the use of granite, it is used in constructions such as for kitchen counters and floors. Next is obsidian. So here you can see the picture of obsidian. It is smooth and glassy. And it is used in making ornaments and jewelry. Ancient people used this stone to sharpen points and blades. So now next is basalt. If we will talk about the property of basalt, it is a dense and has fine grains. It forms a large area of seabird. Now it is used in the construction of roads and building materials. Now let's see next is pumice. It has a lot of air inside it because of which it has pores and is light in weight. It is used in making lightweight buildings material. It is used as a foot scrub. It is used in cosmetic and cleaning industries. So now let's see the next type that is sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks derive its name from Latin words sedimentum meaning to settle. These are formed when rocks on the mountain are broken down or cut away into smaller pieces by natural forces such as wind, water, rain and ice. These small pieces of rock such as pebbles, gravels and sand and clay tumble down the rivers and streams. These rock pieces get deposited in a new place where they settle down or sediment and begin to form flat layers. Over a long period of time, the repeated deposition of sediments causes the lower layers to press together and ultimately transform into a solid rock called sedimentary rocks. So now let's see sedimentary rocks are of many types. Some of the important sedimentary types are described here. So first we will see the name, then properties and uses. So first is sandstone. It is a soft Stone, it is formed by accumulation of sand particles that are cemented by minerals such as silica. And if you will talk about the usage of sandstone, it is used for making pavements, roofs and floors. So now next is conglomerate. It contains round pebbles, gravel and boulders that are cemented together by minerals. It can withstand weathering. 
it is used as decorative material for making ornaments and sometimes as construction material so now next is shell it is made up of clay and mud particles piled up in layer it is the most abundant sedimentary rock and it is used to make tiles bricks and cement now next is limestone it is a fine and soft grain rock it is made up of minerals like calcium and animal shells chalk is a soft white form of limestone it is used for making buildings roads glass toothpaste whitening paper cement etc and if you can see in the knowledge basket himalayas are mountains of sedimentary rocks how can the sedimentary rocks formed under the sea make mountains the crust of the earth below the sea is sometimes thrown upwards in big folds because of because of inside movements of magma or volcanoes so now let's see the next type of rock that is metamorphic rocks the word metamorphic came from the greek word meta which means change and morph which means form metamorphic rocks are igneous and sedimentary rocks that have been transformed under extreme heat and pressure due to this heat and pressure they did not melt rather the minerals in them changed chemically to form metamorphic rocks these rocks are more compact and dense these rocks are the least common of all the three type of rocks marble slate quartzite and gneiss are some example of the metamorphic rocks metamorphic rocks are of many types some of the important types are described here you can see that name properties and uses so now let's see the name of the metamorphic rock that is marble and if you will talk about properties it is made from limestone it is used as building material for its strength and beauty next is slate it is made from shale it is used for making roofs of houses floor tiles and slates now let's see the next is gneiss that is if you will talk about the property it has alternative dark and light color streaks of band and it is used in building houses so now let's see the next topic that is minerals minerals are found inside or on earth's crust most minerals are obtained by digging mines or quarries most minerals are found in the form of ores ores are a natural solid material which contains minerals these minerals can be extracted from the ores some minerals such as iron and gold are metallic minerals other like quartz and calcite are non metallic so now let's see metallic minerals iron can be extracted from iron as such as hematite most of the iron is used for manufacturing steel aluminum is extracted from bauxite and copper is extracted from pyrite metals are used to make utensils tools machine vehicles coins etc here you can also see the picture of precious metals and precious stones so now let's see the next non metallic minerals coal and petroleum are are most valuable and non metallic minerals let's see the coal coal is a valuable natural resource that we get from the earth it is sedimentary rock long ago the earth was covered with forest and swamps over million of years mud and new plants got deposited on them due to intense heat and pressure the bottom layers of plant matter change into coal there are four type of coal peat lignite bituminous and anthracite peat was the earliest type of coal to be formed it is not used often as it gives off very less heat when it's burned lignite forms the largest portion of the world's total coal reserves it is a soft brownish black coal so it is called brown coal bituminous is called soft coal it burns with a lot of smoke the best coal anthracite is also known as hard coal when it burns it gives a great amount of heat and very little smoke coke is used as a fuel all over the world it is used to cook to generate electricity and in steel plants to make steel coal is extracted from coal mines found in coal rich areas dhanbad neveli and rani ganj in india have coal mines so now let's see the next is petroleum it is also found in this manner the intense heat and pressure and weight 
of the rocks on the pile of dead rotting plants and animals turn them into liquid oil fuels like petrol diesel kerosene and natural gas are obtained from petroleum these fuels are used on a large scale for cooking and also to run vehicles and machine and a variety of plastics also made from petroleum here you can see the picture in which you can see the formation of petroleum the first is sea plants and animals died and were buried in ocean floor over time they were covered by layer of silt and sand then over million of years the remains were buried deeper and deeper then the enormous pressure and the heat turned them into soil and gas so the deposits of mineral ore and petroleum under the earth's crust are limited in quantity once they get exhausted they will not be replenished even in thousand of years as it takes million of years for these natural resources to be formed thus they should be used wisely and you can see in the knowledge basket petroleum is very useful in our daily life that is why it is also known as black gold so now let's see the tech talk sandwick dsu 12 ie is a highly automated and productive battery powered bolter for underground mining operation and civil construction tunneling this bolter is equipped with an electric drive line system including a battery package and electric motor for zero emissions while climbing so now let's see the more or learned rocks and minerals are all around us they help us to develop new technologies and are used in our everyday lives our use of rocks and minerals includes as building materials cosmetics cars roads and appliances in order to maintain a healthy lifestyle and strengthen the body we need to consume minerals daily so now let's see recapitulation our earth is made up of soil and rocks igneous rocks are formed when magma cools minerals are found inside or on earth's crust coal and petroleum are our most valuable non metallic minerals so student that's all for today i hope you have enjoyed this chapter so now you have to revise this chapter and don't forget to keep learning and thank you